ya awak. Awak yang tu lah. Jangan lupa subscribe channel kita. Tanda sokongan. Terima kasih. Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. So, welcome back. Alright, so for this video, we will continue for the second part untuk soalan DAQ set A which is for your trial PSPM. Okay, so let's continue with question 11 until question 20. Alright, so question 11. Alright, so here we have 5 kg block is set into motion up an inclined plane at angle of 30 degree with initial speed of 8 meter per second. And then the block comes to rest after traveling 3 meter along the plane. So for this motion, determine the work done by the gravitational force on the block. Okay, so kita perlu lukis tu lah. Uh, so this is the inclined plane. Okay, sejap saya repair sikit. Okay, so this is the inclined plane. So initially, let's say this is the block. So we consider it is travel until this point. Okay, and given that the initial speed, okay, u dia, uh, u dia is equal to 8 meter per second. And this is the final, which is zero. Sebab dia kata comes to rest. Okay, after traveling 3 meter. So, dia bergerak ke sini, naik ke atas. S dia adalah 3 meter. Okay, and then given that the angle of the inclined plane is 30 degree. Okay, so kita nak kira apa sekarang ni? Uh, kita perlu lukis dululah uh, free body diagram. Okay, so since this is inclined plane, so kita kena ada Okay, y component and this is x component. Okay, so you need to consider that the weight of the block is straightly downward. Okay, so w. And then the angle here is equal to 60, sorry, 30 degree. Okay, so kita akan resolve. So we're going to have wx and this one is wy and wx. Okay, where WY is equal to uh, MG cos 30 degree and WX is equal to MG sin 30 degree. Okay, so sekarang soalan tanya apa? Okay, for this motion, determine the work done by gravitational force on the block. So the work done by gravitational force on the block, so referring to weight lah, mg. Okay, so look at the direction of S. The direction is up an inclined plane and the only force, uh, the only gravitational force that is uh, not perpendicular to the direction of S adalah Wx. Okay, so remember equation work. Uh, apa general equation untuk work? So, W is equal to Fs cos theta. Okay. So, in this case, we want to determine gravitational, sorry, work done by gravitational force, iaitu mg lah. So, gravitational, work done by gravitational force. So, the only force that is not perpendicular. So, kita tak boleh pilih y. Uh, Wy ni kita tak boleh pilih. Kenapa kita tak boleh pilih WY? Sebab WY is 90 degree to S which is perpendicular to S. So, kalau cos 90 degree, you akan dapat 0. Okay? Ha, macam ni, saya tunjuk eh. So, this is direction of S. Kan? So, WY is downward. Okay? Means that the angle between them is 90 degree. So, instead of choosing WY as the force, so we're going to choose WX. Kenapa? Sebab, okay, S in this direction, okay, and then Wx in this direction. Okay, mereka tidak uh, perpendicular to each other where the angle between them. So, when we substitute here, kita masuk macam inilah. Uh, okay, so kita akan dapat Wx tadi adalah mg sin 30. Darab dengan S dia 
cos 180 is negative 1. Okay, so boleh masukkan saja nilai mass 5, 9.81, sin 30 degree, S dia bagi tadi 3 meter times negative 1. And then the answer of the work done by the gravitational force on the block is equal to negative 73.58 joule. Okay, mesti adalah negatif lah. Uh, okay, so jawapan dia adalah A. Boleh? Alright. So next, question number 12. A 3 kg, so here we have a 3 kg ball attached to a string swings in a vertical circle of radius 75 centimeter. Okay, so you add a, uh, so this is the circular path. Okay, uh, and then given that we have a ball. Okay, uh, contoh, inilah, uh, okay. Sebab soalan tanya, what is the tension in the string at the top? So, saya lukis at the top. So, this is the center of the circular path. Okay, so this is the string. Uh, so, bila ada tali, mesti ada tension. So, sekarang soalan minta kita kira the tension in the string when the ball is at the top of the circular path. Alright? And given that the linear speed, okay, V dia, uh, V dia bagi 3.46 meter per second. Okay, and the mass of the ball is given 3 kg. So, in order to calculate tension, first, bila you dapat soalan in circular motion, ni chapter 6 eh, you lukis dulu dia punya free body diagram. So, kita ada tali, so means that kita akan ada tension. Direction of tension mesti always outward from the object T. Okay, dan force yang kedua, kita ada apa? Okay, kita ada weight of... Uh, Weight of the ball. So, W. So, kalau you nampak dekat situ, okay, T and W both are downward direction. Okay. And bila objek bergerak in circular motion, okay, you mesti tahu, okay, the direction of centipetal acceleration AC always towards to the center. Okay, to the center of the circular path. Okay, macam ini. Therefore, bila saya nak selesaikan soalan, so I will write total FC, okay? The centipetal force total FC is equal to MAC, okay? So, in this case, direction tension, eh, awak tengok kat sini, direction tension dengan W, same direction dengan C, AC, sorry, AC, uh, downward kan? So, dua-dua akan positif. Tak boleh salah satu positif. You tak boleh main-main tulis saja. T minus W. W minus T. Tak boleh. Okay. Lukis free body diagram dia. So, T dengan W same direction. So, dia akan jadi T plus W. Dua-dua positif because it is same direction dengan AC. Okay. Itu lebih mudah untuk awak selesaikan. So, soalan bagi V. So, saya akan terus tukar AC is equal to V squared over R. Therefore, T is equal to MV squared over R minus W which is MG. Okay. So, kita dah boleh selesaikan. V tadi dia dah bagi dalam soalan. Okay. R. Ha, R dekat sini apa dia? The radius. The radius of the circular path. Kalau panjang tali dia dah bagi 75 cm, kan? Kan dia bergerak macam ni tadi. Okay, so ada tali. So, maknanya radius adalah bersamaan dengan panjang tali tadi. Which is R is equal to 0.75 meter. Okay, so kita masukkan dekat sini. Alright. And minus mg. Okay. So, T you akan dapat 18.46 newton. Very easy. Okay, so the answer is A. Okay, so next question number 13 and 14 based on the following statements. Okay, so this is from chapter 7. So a, co a communication satellite okay, makes a circular orbit on the surface of the planet Uranus. So calculate the satellite's acceleration. Okay, uh, senang je lah kan. You ada satellite. Uh, ini adalah apa? Uh, planet apa? Uranus. Ok. 
Okay. And then dia kata you ada satellite dekat sini. Ha, ini satellite. So, saya letaklah mass of the satellite. Okay. So, you nak kira uh, acceleration ni lah. Uh, satellite acceleration is actually in this direction lah. Dia akan towards to the center of the planet. And then, it is gravitational acceleration AG. So, kita hanya guna formula saja. AG is equal to G times mass of Uranus over the radius of Uranus. Jangan lupa squared. Okay. So, masukkan sajalah nilai. Therefore, AG, okay, on the surface of Uranus. So, 6.68 exponent negative 11. Mass of the Uranus is given. 8.69 exponent 25 over the radius is 25559 kilometer. Kilo adalah power of 3. Squared jangan tertinggal. Okay. So, tekan kalkulator elok-elok. You akan dapat 8.87 meter per second squared. Okay. So, the answer is uh, B. Eh? Okay. Eh, sorry. So, the answer is B. Okay. Next, calculate the satellite period. Okay, so when the satellite is moving in circular motion, kalau dia complete one circle, satu putaran lengkap, one revolution. Okay, so kita belajar, okay, kalau you tak hafal formula pun, sebenarnya V is equal to S kan? S over T. This is generic equation for velocity. So, Untuk satu revolution, satu putaran lengkap, okay, the distance travelled by the satellite should be the circumference of a circle. Circumference of a circle, apa dia? Lilitan bulatan. So, you belajar matematik, formula lilitan bulatan, apa dia? It is equal to 2 pi r. And t sekarang saya akan tukar kepada uh, capital T. Means that the period, you, you must know, period adalah uh, time taken to complete one revolution. Therefore, you can find T is equal to 2 pi R over V. Okay. So, ini formulanya. Masukkan sajalah nilai. Okay. R tadi dia dah bagi the radius of the Uranus 25559 exponent 3 sebab dia kilometer V. Okay. Soalan tak bagi V kan? Tapi kita boleh cari. Okay. Uh, so, you nak kira V, remember formula AC. Okay. So, since this is the gravitational acceleration, okay, kan, dia men, kan ini, uh, setelah ini mengelilingi, uh, berpusing kan, uh, dia berpusing. Okay, uh, dia pusing kat sini. Okay, so dia adalah centipetal acceleration lah. Uh, so, AG, at the same time, centipetal acceleration punya formula apa dia? AC equal to V squared over R. So, daripada sini, you boleh cari V lah. Okay. Where V is equal to uh, AC times R. Take the square root. You masukkan nilai AC. Di mana nilai AC yang you, ki, you nak letak kat sini, you nak substitute adalah nilai ini. Centipetal acceleration is actually equal to satellite's acceleration. Okay. So, 8.87. Kenapa? Sebab kan sama ni direction dia. AC dengan AG. Ha, you tengok kat sini. AC dengan AG. Okay. Means that 8.87 meter per second squared. Boleh eh? So, kiralah V dulu. Okay. So, V is equal to um, square root AC 8.87. Okay. Times the radius tadi. Okay. 2, berapa tadi? 2 eh? 5, 5. 9 times 10 power of 3. Okay. So, V you akan dapat 1.51 exponent 4 meter per second. Okay. So, now we can substitute this value. Okay. So, 1.51 exponent 4. Therefore, the period is equal to, berapa tu? 10.6. Exponent 3 second. Okay. So, the answer is. Berapa tu? D eh. So, D lah. Jawapan yang paling tepat. Boleh. Okay. So, next. 
So given the expression for a spring that undergoes a simple harmonic motion is x equal to 3 sine 2 pi t where x is in meters and t is in seconds. Okay, so based on this equation, x is equal to, uh, general equation dia adalah a sine omega t. So from this equation, kita tahu ini adalah nilai a and this is the value of omega. So soalan minta kita kira the period which is capital T. So kena tahulah formula omega relationship antara omega dengan capital T period adalah 2 pi over t. So since omega is, is equal to 2 pi radian per second, therefore the period t is equal to 2 pi over omega and it is equal to, sorry, okay, and 2 pi over omega where omega is equal to 2 pi and the answer is equal to 1 second, okay? So, the answer is D. Boleh eh? Alright. So, now let's proceed to question 16. Okay. And then, uh, 15. 16 pula. Calculate the displacement when T is equal to 2 seconds. Okay. So, equation displacement tadi adalah uh, 3 sin 2 pi T. So, masukkan saja nilai. 3 sin 2 pi times 2. Okay, trik dia dekat sini adalah bila you tekan kalkulator, pastikan kalkulator awak dalam okay, radian mode. Okay, and tekan kalkulator tu pastikan you masuk bracket ini. Okay, sin 2 pi maknanya dia akan jadi x equal to 3 sin 4 pi. Jangan you tekan kalkulator 3 sin 2 pi lepas tu baru you darab 2. Salah lah jadinya. Okay. So, jawapannya adalah 0 meter. Okay, so the answer is C. And then, calculate V maximum of the motion. Remember, equation for V maximum is equal to A omega. Okay, ha, jangan lupa lah. Dah buat banyak kali kan? Okay, so V maximum is equal to A omega where omega, daripada equation tadi, kita tahu omega is equal to 2 pi radian per second. So, masukkan A kita tadi. Okay, jadi daripada equation, soalan dah bagi tahu kan unit dia dalam meter. A dalam meter. So, masukkan saja 3. And then, omega is 2 pi. So, you akan dapat jawapannya adalah 18.85 meter per second. Okay, sangat senang. Soalan ni straightforward. Okay, tapi masih ramai lagi yang dapat banyak salah eh. Yang masih tak boleh score full mark. Okay, question 18 and 19. So, question 18 and 19 are based on the following statement. So, here we have a pendulum that experiences a simple harmonic motion with an amplitude of 50 millimeter. So, A is equal to 50 millimeter. And given that the periodic time T, capital T, is 4 seconds. So, calculate the frequency of the motion. So, this is very easy. Formula frequency equal to 1 over T. So, it is 1 over 4 and the answer is 0 0.25 Hz. Okay. So, ini takkan you tak boleh buat. Okay. So, the answer is B. And then, question 19. Calculate the displacement after 2.5 seconds. Okay. So, assuming that the pendulum starts at X equal to 0. And move towards the positive displacement. Okay. So, kalau kita ada uh, graph kedua kan. A, X against T. So, maknanya dia start from 0. Okay. And then, dia bergerak ke atas lah. Positive. Positive X. Okay. So, general equation dia. Uh, this is sine graph. Boleh? Dia adalah X equal to A sine omega T. Okay. So, kita nak kira displacement after um, 2.5 seconds. So, T is equal to 2.5 second. So, omega kita dah ada ke belum? Uh, amplitude kita dah ada tadi kan? Remember, daripada soalan atas ni tadi, amplitude is 50 millimeter and omega kita tak ada tapi kita ada T is equal to 4 second. 
So nak tak nak kita kena cari omega and A. A kita dah tahu dah. 50 mm. So you kena cepat eh. So omega is equal to 2 pi over T. So T kita adalah 4. And omega you akan dapat nilainya 1.57 radian per second. Okay. So kita dah boleh cari. Displacement at T is equal to 2.5 seconds. So X equal to A gantikanlah nilai dia. Okay. Sine omega 1.57 times T. T kita adalah 2.5. Okay. You kira elok-elok. Okay. Tekan calculator. Pastikan dalam radian mode. Okay. Ha, selesaikan dalam bracket ni dulu. And then baru you tekan sign. Okay. Jangan salah tekan calculator. And then the answer should be negative 35.3. Yang saya dapatlah eh. Times 10 power of negative 3 meter. Okay. So, the answer is A. Boleh? And then, question 20. Uh, so, ini soalan yang terakhir lah. Okay, for this video. So, the equation. Tapi, saya rasa dia sama kot ni. 20 and 21, dia macam bersambung ni. Uh, kita buat, buat terus lah. 20 and 21. The equation of a progressive wave is given. So, this is the equation. Okay. Kalau you perasan dekat sini, ada trick. Uh, pi. Menyorok dekat situ. Okay. So, calculate the wavelength of the progressive wave. Kita nak kira lambda. So, equation yang kita ada tadi. Soalan bagi saya akan susun dulu. Saya tak nak ada pi duduk dekat luar. Okay. Uh, so, saya akan susun. 2 sin 20 pi t plus pi x over 30. Okay. So, comparekan. Okay. Ataupun bandingkan dengan general equation. Y is equal to A sin omega T plus KX. Ha, maknanya omega partner dia ini. Ha, apa lagi satu lagi? Ha, K. K adalah pi over 30. Boleh eh? So, kalau kita nak kira wavelength, saya dah ulang banyak kali. Okay, kita guna formula K lah. Sebab K is equal to 2 pi over lambda. Okay, so kita nak kira wavelength lambda. Therefore, lambda is equal to 2 pi over k where the value of k from the equation is equal to pi over uh, 30. So, bila kita masukkan, lambda is equal to uh, 2 pi over pi over 30. So, lambda you akan dapat nilainya 60 meter. Okay, so the answer is B. And then calculate the maximum velocity of the particle. So, we will use equation V eh. Sama lah. Lebih kurang sama macam tadi ni. V maximum is equal to A omega. Okay. So, ini. A kita dah tahu amplitude dia adalah 2. Okay. Kita comparekan dengan general equation tadi. Omega. Bagaimana kita nak cari omega dah ada kan. Iaitu 20 newton. So, masukkan sajalah. 2. Hmm. Times omega 20 pi. Sorry 20 newton pula saya sebut tadi kan. 20 pi. Okay. So 40 pi. Alright. And then the answer is 125.7 uh, meter per second. So this is the V maximum. So the answer is C. Okay. So finish part 2. And for part 3 we will continue with question 22 to 20. So to 30 lah. Okay, 22 to question 30. Okay, see you in the next video. Bye-bye.